Lawn renovations. Why do we renovate a lawn? Well, there's a few reasons. One, you're going to touch up thin or bare open areas, uh, or if the lawn has quite a lot of thatch in it, like this example, a lot of brown organic material in the grass, you want to be able to remove that. And we do that with a physical machine called a scarifier or a dethatcher. You can do it by hand with a rake, or a machine's far less hard work on the body. And the machines are a little bit like lawn mowers, but they have vertical blades that scratch through the grass and they pull out the surplus organic matter and open up the soil a little bit, allowing for, uh, for new grass seed or new plants and roots to develop. So renovating is a really good idea. Uh, it helps maintain the lawn in a good, strong, healthy state and is ideal for uh, repairing damaged areas. So this lawn is in a very shady area and we've just had the wettest winter on record. So we've had a lot of rain, a lot of shade, and it's obviously failed the lawn the grass has disappeared it's lost its mojo it's got very thin and open and I think what we need to do now is we need to renovate this up apply some more grass seed to the area and then a bit of topsoil on top just to cover the grass seed some fertilizer and wetting agent and get ready for um, to spruce that area up one of the main factors that grass can fail is soil compaction and if it's a high traffic area then um, the ground's going to get very hard. So we can open the ground up during that renovation process. And there's machines you can hire, are called coring machines that poke holes in the ground, or the old trusty garden fork does a pretty good job too. So if you've got a hard area, before you put more grass seed on it, to loosen that soil up, it's a matter of just um, poking the fork in the ground, prying the ground a little bit, and then it just breaks up that compaction. So we've scarified the lawn multiple ways and we've made a bit of damage and we've also caused, caused some scarring in the soil which is perfect for the grass seed to sit into. So once we've got to this point, we've cleaned it off with a leaf rake. Uh, we're going to put some grass seed and fertiliser on it now. Uh, lawn Works uh, Lawn Life's Jump Start and we're going to give, to give it a feed. Good establishment fertiliser, plenty of grass seed and then dress this a whole lot lightly with some topsoil. So this lawn is a ryegrass and fescue blend. It matches our stadium backyard brew, so that's the grass seed we're going to use because it's the same mix. So the grass seed comes in a bag, it's a nice fresh grass seed blended of fescue and ryegrass. We work out about one clenched handful per square metre. And you can just go and sprinkle it on gently over the area, as evenly as you can. Seeds want to be around about 10 millimetres apart or thereabouts, and that's quite a nice little seeding rate right there. You cover the whole area with grass seed. And then once that grass seed's on, you sprinkle a little bit of soil on top. So I've top soiled that now. Now we're going to run the big rake over it and just get it all blended in. We want to poke the grass up through the soil that's gone on because you don't want to smother the grass out. If you smother the grass out, it quite often dies and then you've got a bigger problem waiting for that to recover. So once you've uh, soils on, stir it all up into the grass, either with a large rake, a screed board, or even a, a yard broom can do the job quite well too. And now if you have a bumpy lawn, and you want to fill up some hollows, that takes a little more work, because you want to put enough soil in to, to fill the hollow and make it smooth, but if you smother that grass out underneath, that grass will die. So there's a couple of options. One, and our preferred option is a little bit of uh, soil often over that area, maybe over a season or so, and just allow the grass to keep growing up through that hollow and quietly build it up. It takes a little bit more time, but you get a better outcome. You can do it all in one go. Quite often if you've got a big hollow, like a sunken drain line for example, sometimes better to almost dig the turf out, soil underneath it and relay the turf, or dig the turf out, um, top dress with soil to get your levels right, a new bit of ready lawn or grass seed on top, just to, to even it up to make it level. But leveling out a bumpy lawn is a little bit of a process to fix. So and once you've finished uh, top dressing your lawn and you've got your grass seed on, you've top dressed with soil, jump starter or a good quality starter fertiliser is a good start to help that grass seed get going and to give that new grass a good start. Also your granular insecticide and wetting agents also a good idea if it's the right time of year to do it, so which is any time through from spring, mid-September through till the autumn. So. A little bit of granular fertiliser in here, we're only just putting a little bit in, small area. Spin that on over the area, around about 20 grams per square metre, a couple of kilos per 100 square metres is all you need to do.